everybody. It's me, Aurora. Welcome back to my channel and to Draw Some. This is the 15th week and today is something that I've been so excited about getting to draw. It's my old standby, my old go-to whenever I want to try out a new supply or something along those lines. Eyes. Yes, eyes. I cannot wait to get into this. So, without further ado, let's do that. So, eyes. We are going to hit the ground running because there's a lot to cover. So, for starters, there's two different kinds. You're going to have cartoon. And you'll have realism. So, first off, with, with the cartooning, which... If you've all seen Floof, he has very large, let me see if I can get this in the frame here, very large oval shaped eyes. Those are Floof eyes, like that. We have his. So, but when you want to show some kind of emotion or something like that, I've always said it's all in the eyes. Because even with him, he does not have eyebrows. He has his antennas, which kind of act like eyebrows, but this is all about eyes. So, whenever he's happy, we make his cheeks come up, like he's smiling. And then his, his pupils. So that would be him happy. You see those cheeks come up nice and high like that. And if he's worried, same cheeks, but it's for a different reason. You wouldn't draw the whole oval because he has like, I, like where his eyebrows would be. <laughs> like those little furrowed brows kind of thing. Let me actually we go in. Like that. So it kind of comes up. Well, let's see, um, if he's like, been shocked by something, or he could even be like perplexed with that look, um, let's see, these are kind of like, mad and you could even go so far as to be like like he's really angry which he never gets like that anyway but yeah, like the real goofy looking eyes You can even like, if you wanted to put eyebrows, you could. Let's see, what else? Um, we'll do a few more. Um, where he's looking at something, he's a little kind of like intrigued, like what the heck? If he's like droopy sad, or not sad, but like half asleep, I always put like his pupils are a lot smaller. 
and the eyelids are always like that. Um, that could be sad, that could be tired. If you shade the eye these in, that makes them very tired. Um, if you put lines under here, that actually makes them sick. I mean, there's just, there's so many different things you can do with, uh, with cartoon eyes. It really does show the emotion of the character. But, when you're wanting to do realism, let's do some realism. Now, now this, these cartoon eyes also do not denote your anime eyes, which is an entirely different subject that I know nothing about. I know that they're very large in some cases, um, and can be very, uh, boxy, I think is the word for it. And they, uh. have a lot of uh, eye shine, which I'm just, I don't know, I'm not an animeist, or animator, anime, I don't know what the hell you'd call it. Anyway, I don't do anime, I do cartoons and realism, those are my things, that's how much I am. So, when it comes to the more realistic eyes. Um, I know a lot of people have issues like, they're like, well, I could draw the one, but I have a hard time drawing the other one on the other side. All you have to remember is that when you're drawing a face, you have one eye, think of it as three. You don't see this one but it's the same distance between the two eyes as one whole eye. So that is definitely something you want to try and, and remember is that there's a distance there and that the nose, outsides of the nose come right there in the inside. Da 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 da. Again, we're not here for that. We're here to learn how to draw an eye. <laughs> so everybody's got this tear duct. And let's see, you can't forget the water line underneath. It is pretty much visible on just about everybody. And that is where your, your, uh, eye, your eyelashes from underneath come from outside of that from this outside line, not the inside line. Now this portion of the eye is always a bit darker at the top, simply because you've got the lid So it's, it's more puffy up here. Now you do sometimes, some people have a little bit of a puffiness underneath here. But not everybody has that. Now, <clears throat> when you are in a, when you're a child, when you're a baby, your eyeballs apparently are the same size they will be for the entirety of your life. So as a, as a baby, if you're looking at a baby's eyes, they're the colored portion of their eyes almost fill the entire socket, this whole side. Because you have to remember that an eyeball is essentially about the size of a ping pong ball. And then on the front side, where you don't get to see it, there's what's called the lens. There's like this little, this is where, this is the part you see. You see the colored portion here, and then there's like a little bit of a, but it is perfectly round inside the head. So your lash line and everything comes out here. The rest of this is inside your head. You don't get to see it. 
but you do see a lot of this white here. So this is what you see. Everything from here to here is what you see. For the rest of this, you don't see that. So you've got to remember that it's round. What you, you know, inside here is all rounded. So you have to make sure that you shadow these ends to show that they're round. So you have this curvature. And then you have your pupil, which dilates, as we all know. Now this section always gets shaded. Because there's a lot going on up here. And as we've been learning, shading is a, has a lot to do with everything. Because it shows the depth, it shows, it pushes things back, it brings things forward. Now this whole section here, the colored portion, if you look at someone's eye, now this is a very, very close up. It's a big close up. Just get some of this shading in here. You would see things in your eye that resemble this and then things coming out of the pupil that look like this now that's if it's like you know you're super close up you could see all these little details but it's good to know that they're there simply because it's what helps give you the color and knowing how to color an eye. Because then you'll know that these little things here are actually on the eyeball right in here. And they catch light and they make shadows. So that's why you'll see in some people's eyes, these little lines. It's actually the shadows of these little filament looking things. And this will be a lot darker up here. So this will be darker up here. And then come down a little bit. Now this will be, I mean, if you're going to color an eye, why not use purple, right? It'll be much lighter down here. Now, you can take an eraser. And it takes away the, the coloring so that you have much darker up here now let's say you want that eye shine the eye shine would be put it like I didn't even think about doing it and I should have <laughs> you're gonna leave those white or you can use like a, a white gel pen around a little bit darker put one down here a little bit of native coloring there so that you have the eye shine now there are some 
some incredible artists that um, I follow a few online who are capable of drawing. And when you go to put these eyelashes in, they're able to draw the eyelashes in the reflections of the eyes. So you would see like in these little reflections here, or even in the reflection, because it makes it super shiny looking, where you'd see like the reflection, like a shadow of the eyelashes, if the sun's coming this way. So you've got the, all the shadows underneath and then the shadows of these little hairs. So there you go. Try to even out this shadow a little bit. There. So just a little, there's a lot to an eye. You can't just jump in and be like round, circle, almond shaped eyelashes, done. If you want to really get into the mechanics of like this, of how it's shaped, why it's shaped, I mean, we don't have to get all, into all that. But just to know that there is this shape that is, you want to show that shape. So that's how you would do it. Because this is a very deep hole that goes all the way through. This is how you see on the back side of your eyeball, all this is picked up, these are all nerves back here, blah blah blah, so it is a hole. And it opens and closes according to the light, blah blah blah. But, to know a few of these things is a definite help when it comes to your art. And that's why people say, you know, to study, to study uh, anatomy as much as possible, which is a definite good thing. I mean, you don't have to become a doctor. <laughs> that would be kind of ridiculous. But uh, to just know a few facts as to why things are shaded the way they are and to know just a few of the mechanics is not a bad thing. So there we go. Let's draw one more and uh, let's draw it. Let's draw it from the side, a little bit of a side view. In fact, I have one pulled up and it does have a lot of eye shine. This is that part here. It's just very, very close up. That's another thing too that I've also noticed about even drawing animal eyes or human eyes. Um, if you bring this top down over the waterline, it makes it look just a bit more authentic. water line because we're so close up that goes all the way over here That's 
that's gonna be shaded, and this is gonna be shaded. And she has a lot going on here with the eye. She has a very dark rim around her iris. All of this, more lead, please. Thank you. All of this is extremely dark underneath here. And we have this brown eye, by the way. It's brown and gold. Dark eyes are much more uh, reflective when it comes to light on top of them. And then she has a lot of this. And this almost looks green. This is very dark. So over here would be the bridge of the nose and up here would be her eyebrow. And then she would have now see this circle, this this part here, we're getting to see the side of the eyeball here. This would continue up into her head. So you know that this is where her whole eyeball is. So <clears throat> right here, you're gonna see that shadow. Because this is that top lid, that's where that line is. That's why, it's because it's, it's the whole eye in there. You gotta remember that, it's like that ping pong ball. I know you probably all didn't expect an anatomy lesson. <laughs> there, there we go. So, I am very interested to see how anybody else's eyes come out. I would love to see them. see how everybody does with this prompt and uh, yeah there you go that's how you draw an eye folks and that's why you draw it the way you draw it and you shade it the way you shade it it's because it's that round spherical mass that is in in the socket, so you can't forget any of it. So if you're gonna do something realistic, this is this is your basic how-to and why. 
So I hope you got something out of it. And this is my thing right here. This is my jam. I love drawing eyes of all types. I, I, I love doing the cartoony and I love doing the realistic, uh, realism, semi-realism. I mean, even semi-realism, you, you have to kind of make it look as if it's spherical. You don't want it to be flat. It looks very strange. It look very odd. But uh, yeah. So if anybody has any questions, please don't hesitate to make a comment down below and ask me in the comments. I will be more than happy to answer any questions you have. And uh, yeah. And please don't get on me about not being able to draw anime. It's not my thing. <laughs> it came out way after I learned how to draw, so I just never really got into it. So I've tried. I have. I have. I have tried my hand at it, and I'm just not as good at it as I am cartooning and realism. But that's okay. Everybody has their thing, and if you're good at anime eyes, hey, kudos to you, because uh, you got one up on me. <laughs> So, I will uh, hope to see everybody in the ne next video, um, and if you are following along with this, please make sure you tag me and tag Lori at the Lori Files. She is the sister channel to this on Drawsome, and she will be putting up an eye tutorial as well. Go make sure you watch her video as well. I'll be putting the link down in the description box below, and yeah, and if you do, make sure you tag us with it. Hashtag Drawsome Squad on Instagram, and you will get to be featured in next week's video, just like these folks. So, until my next video, I will see y'all later, and I love you bunches. Bye.